very early on in my career, I was uh, a dancer with the Cincinnati Ballet and we were performing at the Spoleto Festival. And uh, another company performing at the Spoleto Festival that summer was the Lara Lubavitch Dance Company. My friends and I spent a lot of time watching that company. We just fell in love with this group of dancers and with the work of Lara Lubavitch. I'm Lara Lubavitch, a choreographer, director of the Lara Lubavitch Dance Company in New York City. Uh, next year will be the 50th anniversary of my company, and I've made about 110 dances in that time. The inspiration uh, often for me is the music, and in this case it was the music. Uh, a very kinesthetic and muscular music that would seem to want to be danced to. I'm Katarzyna Skarpetowska and I'm the repertoire for um, Dvořák Serenade, Laura Lubovic's Dvořák Serenade. I was in the original cast for Dvořák Serenade um, back in 2007 and it was my first piece creating with Lar, so it was quite an experience. Lars' work is very musical always, and when he makes a phrase, we do it first without music, then he puts the music on and lets us respond very organically to it. That informs his next uh, step and how we're going to respond to the work. Dvorak's music is very curvaceous, and I've employed a very curvaceous movement language to, um, to iterate what I believe is the, the curves that the music is making in over time and in space. In the general movement language, you'll be able to recognize some ballet steps, but we tend to kind of go through those steps a lot more, so sort of what we call zhuzh through them, so that they kind of come out into more of a constant phrase and constant flow of movement. In essence, you always feel like you're singing through the movement. It's all kind of filters right through your body, so music and dance become one. I remain interested in what I do because I continue to want to get it right, and I keep hoping that the next dance is better than the last dance. And it intrigues me to see if I can take a step further in my own development, in my own ability to have clarity and articulation in, in the statements I'm trying to make as choreographer.